All right, once again, welcome to the Raised in Baseball YouTube channel. So we're going to be talking about stocking stuffers. Stocking stuffers. Smaller things, things that maybe don't cost as much, with the exception of a few things that we're going to get into the bonus section at the at the end. But uh, yeah, what are you going to start out with? Ooh, let's start out with these. All right, these things right here. These are the Clean Fuegos. I've been using these uh, for a pretty long time now. And so the basic concept of them is when you're throwing them, if it wobbles like that, That's you, not didn't, clean fuego. you didn't throw it right. But if you spin it, that one was bad. But if you spin it like that and there's no wobble, that was terrible. If it looks like this, it's perfect. So that's clean fuego. That's uh, that's what you want to see. That's like for me, it's a big tool that I'm really starting to use at third base. If I get to the side of a ball, the ball will not get anywhere close to as far as it would have gone if it's I had perfect spin. Usually tails or hooks. It, yeah, it doesn't so have it, the carry that you yeah. would normally get. So right? it makes it a lot easier if you have spin. One of my friends, my good friends, he's a catcher. He can barely throw the ball, but because he has such good spin on it, the thing just carries forever and ever. So. Good tool right here, Clean Fuego. This is a five ounce regular, uh, regular baseball. I think that one's a seven ounce, maybe an eight ounce. It's a little bit heavier, but so you can buy them in a set. You can buy individuals if you want to get like the regular. That's a five ounce, just like the baseball. Five ounces. You want to do heavier? I believe this is actually is seven, seven ounces. Then maybe you'll go with that. Get the whole set. You get both. Um, but it cleans up a lot of mechanical issues. Um, it gives you good feedback. So uh, fits in the stocking nicely. I want to say the last time I looked, these were for the set. It's like 100 bucks, right around there-ish. Uh, it's an investment, it. but it's going to sound loud. They don't, they don't break. They don't chip. Um, they got, I mean, they're built to last. So clean fuego, okay? Yeah. We're out of the gates with clean fuego. Next up. Let's go with 100%. Okay, we talked about that one with the Christmas gifts, right? Yeah, I think so, we did. So these are just glasses. These are 100% vision glasses. In here we got pretty dope looking glasses right there. These are pretty nice, pretty solid. Let's put them on. <laughs> there you go. Pretty solid. So 100% so, vision. No distortion. Um, the distortion's like not there. They're stylish. They're something different. Although more and more people are wearing them. Yeah, for like, sure. When you started wearing them, not too many baseball players were wearing them. And they don't they don't scratch very easily either. Like they do I feel a like much better job. Other than, major one, you oh, look yeah. at them, they scratch. Who remembers these? Ooh, it's been a minute. These are the oh, R100. R100s. So the R100s, if you guys go back and look at some of the older YouTube channel uh, videos we have, you'll see the R100 unboxing. And so the big sell point on these R100s, they're- They don't get waterlogged. They don't get waterlogged. How many times you guys been at a game and you got the early morning game, you got dew on the freaking field. Those balls are toast, bro. Yeah, you use them one time, come back in the afternoon and they're Two ounces heavier than no they doubt, were. no doubt. So these don't absorb water. They don't feel like a synthetic uh, leather. They actually have a really nice texture to even even off the seam. Uh, they got some good feel to it. So the R one hundred is the other big selling point for the R one hundred. Aside from not getting absorbed in water or dirt or they dust or whatever, they stay hard. They stay hard. So like a regular baseball, I think it's sixty to a hundred hits. Not even. Really? Not even. That's what I was shocked. Oh, about. you're right. It's after twenty. Yeah. After 20 hits, the ball slowly and slowly starts to get compressed and softer. softer. So yeah. if, um, like, I don't know, if I'm ever working on exit velo, I'm going to use the hardest ball that's there because it's less less compression, which means more energy is transferred more efficiently, the ball goes faster. So with this one, this one, I've never had one feel soft ever, and I've hit with them quite a bit. And then even feeling. Yeah, right? there's nothing. So the, with a regular baseball... I could take 20 swings, maybe more off the tee, and the ball, you can feel it kind of start giving a little bit, have a little bit of mush. These ones stay hard forever. The only one that I will say that the only negative is that if it hits like a, a big Ooh. rock or a big hard chunk of something, sometimes it will Scuff. take a big chunk off of it. So they've upgraded the R100s. The R100s um, have really taken off because that's when they first started they had the r100s they had a collegiate version now there's like six different versions yeah, of this type of ball um so but like feeling it when you get the throw it feels like you're on seams uh the leather well it's not leather whatever it is it feels a lot better than the the synthetic leather doesn't absorb water can go through mud hose it off call it a good and move on right so pretty nice pretty nice all right next up 
my personal favorite from this uh, collection here. Bruce Bolt TC42 batting gloves. I love these things. I I love them. So I use them every day, every single day. I use them uh, at practice for school. I use them in the cages when I'm done. And they, uh, I think they look pretty cool. They look really cool. They uh, they last a really long time. I've never had one rip that was uh, the, the glove's glove fault. fault. Uh, I screwed up a few times and worn them on the base paths. And then, you know, eventually you're going to hit a rock, and that rock's going to cause a seam to rip, and it all goes downhill from there. You get so. them in long cuff, short cuff? Yeah. Whatever you want, but uh, the design is really cool. People who get that, that blister in there, that little extra dual layer there is really nice. The TC42s have the, the red stitching. It's all about the small little details, right? Yes, Which sir. is pretty cool. And then another small little detail, a two-toned lightning bolt right there. And this glove was the first one to have a two-tone on it. Yes, so, it was. Uh, subsequently, they've had some other people come up with the bolt that is outlined, but TC42s were the first one, so. Bruce Bolt batting gloves. Also with Bruce Bolt, another really good stocking stuffer, which I would be uh, very happy with if I got this in my stocking is a Bruce is Bolt hand sleeve. Maybe. Okay. More colors, bro. More colors. So Bruce Bolt, their arm sleeves are like medical grade arm sleeves. Like this is really nice. It's pretty thick for, like if you compare it to a like regular kind of dry fit arm sleeve, I guess you yeah, yeah. call it. You get those ones that's like, it feels just like straight up nylon. Yeah, yeah, so you use those and it's like, one, they don't really keep your arm warm, which is what I like to use it for, so my arm doesn't get cold if I'm like playing catch, I go in the dugout for 10 minutes and I go back out on the field, my elbow and my arm are just done. But if I put that on, I feel like it gives me a little bit more time to uh, take off from throwing and get back on it uh, in the next inning, so. So me medical gauge compression, you can see the taper. So bicep, bicep, you know, it tapers down, right? So not your regular type of um, arm sleeve. Arm sleeve. It's, it's pretty nice. I love it. Next. Next thing. Let's see. You got anything on that side you want to talk about? Yep. Ooh, the T-claw. The T-claw. It sounds oh, I the label. stupid. I covered up the label. <laughs> yeah, we actually put a label hat sticker on there. On there. Yikes. The T-claw. There we go. All right. So what's cool about the T-claw is it comes with these little claws. And what's cool is that you can attach these, these cords to it. Really simple. And what you do once you have it on there, you take it, you can do it turf or grass. You take it, and then if I, I don't know if you can see, but there's little ridges on there, little hooks. If I put that on the ground and I twist it, right it in. locks it in place. So, I mean, it's not going anywhere. I've used it quite a bit for hitting. I'll use it for like my stride if I'm trying to go in a little bit. If I'm having a problem a little bit with stepping out, I'll try to go in with it. So I use the little, the line to as, kind of give a visual guide. As to, a guide, uh, right? So instead of using going. like the, uh, the batter's box, you know, the batter's box white line, you can you know, literally make it. This is where I'm stepping. You could step on these cords and. Uh, I, I think it's great. It's also great for fielding if you're trying to work your yeah. lines you use for, angles. for backhand or for glove side. You can use them for all the different angles that you're trying to work. So, um, relatively inexpensive. Um, something you can keep in your bag. Pretty cool. Uh, but it's uh, the not the. It's www.tclaw.com. So, if you're interested in that one? Check it out. Tclaw. All right. The next thing is uh, I call this the drip enhancer. The drip so, uh, enhancer. If you're ever on the field and you're not feeling too hot with how you're looking, you can put one of these on. So this is the uh, Raps Performance Wrap. So it's like tape, so everybody always wears like the white tape. And that's kind of basic, you go through like a roll maybe every day of a tournament. With these things, it is not like that. So if I can get yeah. this one open, hang on, I got it, yeah. I can do it. I can do it. Believe. Ah! Anyways, they're washable. I'll get it. I'll get it. So they're they're washable. They go on really nice. Uh, they make them in different sizes. So if you only want it to go up to like say right here, they have a size for that. If you want it to go up, there we go. Thanks, Dad. Big strong guy. So what you do, you take it, you put this little cuff right here around your wrist. Take the little pulley, see how it tightened up there, and then I take this and I wrap it around my wrist. Just like that. Or up your so form. now I have a wrist, wrist tape, just like that, instead of wasting 
a roll of tape every day at a tournament. So it's uh, it's pretty nice if they get sweaty like my dad said. You throw it in the washing machine, and they have a ton, I mean a ton of different colors. So whatever color your team is, I'm sure they have it. Next up. Boom. Soggy Severs. Little glove self-care right here. So people ask all the time, what do you use for conditioning and cleaning your gloves? This stuff right here. This is uh, Ball Player's Bomb. So a lot of people don't realize that Bro. you have to clean and condition your glove otherwise it turns into like rawhide it gets all um get really off. hard stiff cracks and it'll start smelling too and it'll look bad so what you do is you take some cleaner i don't cleaner. know if that's the cleaner the cleaner smells like delicious it's like good. if you can make a candle out of this it's delicious and then um yeah you take cleaner and you put a little bit on the glove and it'll kind of raise up all the stuff that you need to get off and then you can kind of brush it, not brush it, but you can kind of wipe it all off, dig it in there, get everything looking nice, take the dirt off, and then you put this. This is their conditioner. So that's the game ready conditioner. It's a little bit, a little bit sticky, so it makes the ball. Um, it makes the ball if it has a bunch of spin, it'll kind of deaden the spin, so it won't pop out of your glove if you're doing like a slow roller. So. But it's not like tacky, tacky. Yeah, it, not it, at all. It it's, doesn't. It doesn't attract dirt, is what I've seen. It, yeah, I haven't it's seen not like bad at all. it's cut like. If you're using pine tar on your glove, dude, it's, it's going to grab dirt like crazy. This doesn't. So it doesn't provide a lot of stick. It does provide some stick to the ball and some stick to the glove, deading it up. The one that we really use just for conditioning um, They have is a different, just not the regular, game it's, just, it's game, it just says glove, glove conditioner. conditioner. So. And that one smells delicious too. I'm about the smells. I can't <laughs> deny it. But, but that one doesn't smell. But they're, uh, they're really good for people that like... No. They don't condition their gloves, which is something that you have to do. Usually what I'll do is every – if I'm not using the glove, I'll condition every three months. If I'm using it, it's usually maybe once every two weeks, once every month. So Handwritten batch numbers on the back, which is sweet. But it's, Pel it's a big – oh, Pelican. Pelican glove rub. That one smells amazing. Mm. You think? You don't like that one? Mm, no, the other one's better, but they both smell pretty dang good. This one mm. – whatever. So each their own. There was a company called B2. I don't think they make any. Yeah, you're anymore, right. But dang, the B2 smells really good too. I still really have a stick too. of their pine tar. The B2 really smells good, but they're not around. Moving on. All right, this is a book here. The stocking stuffer in the book. I know what you guys are thinking though. Big like, brain. Who wants a book in their stocking? Big and brain. the answer is somebody who wants to get committed to a college. So this is a book called Committed. Uh, one of the authors is one of my and my dad's good friends. His name is Brian Eisenberg. Really smart guy. He knows a lot about baseball. Uh, his son's a very good pitcher. His name's Sammy. And uh, so play this ball book, kid. Play yeah, ball play, kid. play ball kid. So this book is about the guide to kind of like a, a path for how to get you from high school to committed to a college and ultimately past that if you want to go past that. And but, it was written with also Walter Beatty, which is Tyler Beatty, and, the pitcher, uh, his dad. They got Tim Corbin in this book too, which is which is pretty cool. So bandy coach Tim what it, Gordon. Corbin. This book is going to teach you quite a bit about the steps it's going to take, the process, the work that you're going to have to put in to get to college and ultimately pass that if that is where you so want to go. Let me run that one real quick just to go over. First off, real easy read, big, big, big print, real easy read. But the thing that I want to go over aside from you got Corbin's intro, you got the dedications from BD and from Brian, and here. Table of contents. I'm going to go through some of them real quick. Your guide to the recruiting contest, contributors introduction, baseball specific strength training, how to be a standard recruitable athlete, uh, how to develop an understanding of what it takes to play at the next level, uh, can only gifted and young athletes get recruited, how physical development can change your course, physical development from youth to recruit, does my student athlete have to play for Team X to get recruited, uh, is daddy ball the problem, understanding your students, on and on and on. I'm going to skip because that's not even all the way down this page. It got to about here. And I'm going to go over to here. I'm going to go halfway down. Uh, camps and showcase tips, emails to coaches, talking to coaches, unofficial visits, official visits, commitment, social media. By the way, I, Brian Carson, helped contribute to the social media section, which is kind of cool. Uh, NJCAA to NCAA transfers, beyond college, your yearly checklist as an athlete, your yearly checklist for academics, your athletic gloss, glossary, academics, uh, applications, and admission outcomes. A lot of stuff. Oh, and it goes on, on the backside. Financial aid, it's academic resources. It's literally your pathway. Thing. Create your wish list, testimonials, additional resources, and are you committed to play ball, kid? So, 
Committed, available on Amazon. Good book, easy book, and really informative because I get and you get a ton, a ton of, of questions. questions about should I go to a camp? Should I get this? Is it too early to do this? Is it too late to do this? All your answers are right literally there. right there. Really so smart we read book. through not even all the chapters. Not There's even. still a ton more. So that book's a really good read if you're trying to find information about getting to a college, what it's going to take to get there, and what you need to look for. So check it out, Committed. Uh, next up here we have the Pocket Path. Oh, that was a little loud. should have ripped it. So the Pocket Path is something that you use. I have a big problem with a big arm slot. So when you're playing shortstop, for me, if I'm trying to turn a double play, you've got to be quick with it. Or if I'm on the mound pitching, if I go down, my shoulders come up, and it's really hard for me to get back on top, so I leave everything high. What this Pocket Path does is you can tape it, or not tape it, Velcro. This is a Velcro thing. You put it around your waist, and then you take this, and you put it on the Velcro. So what you, I don't know if I can stand up and demonstrate. No, nah, you can't stand up and demonstrate. But if I have it sitting right here, pretend this is my waist right here, my hand is my waist. I have this ball here, and I start it with my fingers in here. I'm going to have to turn it away so it doesn't get caught. Turn it away, pull up, and then my arm is right there. So it doesn't really give me the opportunity to go down. Otherwise, the Velcro thing pulls off. You get off. the rip of the so. Velcro. Comes with... They got a green weighted ball, which is also in my room. I was pretty dumb and forgot to bring it out here. But they have a green, a yellow, and then two white um, plyo balls. So if you're doing drills, and they have a whole program on it um, that you can go check out. So you Download their apps, and they've got yeah. a whole bunch of programs on it. Hats. Ooh. I love hats. I got a ton of hats. I have way too many hats, so we're going to talk about a few of the good ones here. That is a Rawlings Live Lucky Black Clover hat. Boom. That hat is awesome. Boom. Boom. Okay. Really cool. Really nice. Live lucky. That's the Rawlings Black Clover collabs. This Again. one is the uh, same thing here, but different colorway. You got the American flag patch right there. And then underneath here too, which was pretty cool, you have the American flag. Details, underneath. baby. So that one's pretty sick. This one is from Last Stand Hats. Uh, they're a pretty small company out of Austin, Texas. Really cool guys, a uh, great person. I met with him uh, probably, I think it was last year, but you know, he's a really, really cool guy. I love talking to him. Makes some great hats. He has Lots of ton, swag. Lots of swag, of design, dude. So the designs are uh, ridiculous. He's out of Austin, got a lot of hats from like UT, UT, Texas. All over. They've got, he's got licensed with a lot of, of uh, colleges around. So Last Stand Hats, if you're not familiar with them, go check them out too. That's another really good one. <laughs> Failed toss. Next. Uh, next we have the Towel Trainer. So I've had this for way too long. Like I, I'm going to say way too long. I've had it for so long and I've only just now started really getting into using it, which is something that I, I don't, I don't feel, feel too good about because it's a good tool. Um, so basically I know you guys have heard, maybe I don't know, but I know that a lot of people have heard of towel drills. So you take a, uh, like maybe a chair, you set it out and then you step back a few yards and then you go and you try to hit the whatever the surface of your table, chair, whatever it is, with the towel. So you got to snap it down, really reach out, get extended. And so what this does is it gives you kind of like a baseball to grip onto there. So your fingers can go here. You can throw change-ups with it. You can throw curveballs with it. So it gives you kind of a feel of what the actual pitch is going to feel like. And then I really like it because you don't have to reset your grip every time with the actual towel, which, which which is what you'd be doing if you had a regular towel. So I really love it. Towel trainer. Use it quite a bit now, but I feel pretty bad that I didn't use it before knowing now how good of a trainer it is. Marv. Marv. That hurt, didn't it? No, because it got the, the chair. Ooh, lucky. Marv. Bands. So, some, the Marv trainers. It's uh, the website right here. So these it's are a, these are bands, but what makes them? Marv. Multi-angular rotating vector handles. Marv. See how it goes into the channel? Marv. So you can work some drills where you're trying to get in here and work and see how it, it goes into that channel. Pull, it doesn't pull on your wrist. So like if, I'm, if I'm doing a top hand drill one-handed with a regular band, what it'll do is I'll get here and then my wrist will start getting pulled back like that or to the side. And what this does is it gives you a lot of room to work with it going into that channel. Can I see real quick? Yep. So if I have it and the band's over here and I'm turning this way, it can go 
a lot farther than it normally would with a band instead of it pulling all over my wrist. Patent pending. Patent pending. So they actually have quite a few trending things. They just came out with, I don't know about just, but they have um, plyo balls, not flat, not smooth, true balls, baseball size plyo balls that actually have molded seams on them. And they've been getting a lot of kick on that. So a lot of good, good feedback on that. Um, so hitting and pitching, um, they've got a lot of good tools. So Marv, check them out, Marv training. I don't even know what their website is, but really good stuff. And it's, it's not like when I first got these, I was like, man, this is just like a regular weird. Yeah. And, and you know, it's like, all right, what makes these any different? And then you understand when you start using them from other things other than, than your, your bands. regular like bands, arm yeah. care. you, you get what's, what's happening, what's going on. Only thing I wish they would do, I don't know about you. I wish this would, it's a little slick when I'm using it. Yeah. Like so it, if they could put slide a little bit, some texture on it or even like, like make a little it bit of tape, some, tape something it doesn't yeah. it doesn't really matter as long as it grips a little Mar, bit better pay attention to what we're saying here we go little All upgrade. Right. last last thing here actually they were on to the honorable mentions here so this product here before i bring it out it's more on the expensive side um but i think it is well well worth it and it might not fit in your stocking unless you have a pretty big stocking but it's uh very very valuable so it is like a TENS unit, but better. Please welcome the Mark Pro. So this thing right here, uh, I got it probably a year ago, and I love it. So what it does is it'll flush. Like if you're really sore, you can put it on there, and it'll flush some of the old blood out and get you some new fresh blood, which is good for replenishing and getting that in there, flushing it out, and uh, healing and ultimately recovering. So um, if I'm ever feeling really sore, really tight, I'll put this on there. And it works. It works really well. It helped me a lot when I uh, I pulled my quad a while ago, and I was back pretty dang quick from from that injury with the Mark Pro. So you got your tens cords right there, and then this is the actual Mark Pro. And they uh, I have a ton of pads. When you get it, there's a ton of pads in there, and then they they're give high you, quality pads. It's not like they. I've I've only gone go through bad. two of them. I've had this thing for a long time. And I've only had to get rid of two of them. And that's not even get rid of. It was just I was pretty dumb. And I would pull here instead of on the pad. So, But that's a they, really good recovery tool. I like, mean, you see like most huge. most MLB pitchers, a lot of players use it uh, right after their, their games uh, for recovery. I see them on all the, the uh, clubhouses. So. And what's kind of weird about it is like with a regular TENS unit, It'll sit there and give you like constant, I guess, electricity into wherever it's wherever it's applied. With this, it'll pulse. So your 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 arm, if you have it on your bicep, it'll constantly retract your arm. So you'll constantly get but boom or not even a heart. It's like boom, 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 over and over. And what that's doing is flushing the blood out instead of just. Well, having I think it's a specific modulation and Ooh, specific. Big word there. Modulation and frequency is what sets this apart from a tens unit because tens units can be set for different types of of frequencies and modulations too. This one's specific. So really cool product is the Mark Pro. So hope you guys get some ideas off of this. Uh, if we miss something that you want in your stocking stuffer, let us know. Let us know what you would put in a uh, stocking. And we wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Hope you have a great one and stay tuned for more videos coming out. See you from later. Like, Thank comment, share, subscribe. See you guys later. Later. Have a good night.